Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is set to have many different twists and turns, as well as surprises and revelations in this film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this film that a lot of people are really trying to figure out is, of course, exactly how J.J. is going to wrap up the entire Skywalker saga. As he said at Star Wars Celebration, this is a movie that's not just meant to end the sequel trilogy, but it's also meant to end the past eight movies that come before it. And this is a big deal by JJ, Disney, and everybody else involved with this movie, such as Chris Terrio, etc. So what's really intriguing has all to do with the character of Kylo Ren and Rey. In these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting and very crazy by JJ. Now specifically, shot descriptions consisting of a moment within the second act of the film, where it's described that both Kylo and Rey are engaging in a lightsaber duel against each other, where it's described that the environment around them appears to be distorted. It's said that in the background, Kylo and Rey begin to enter the environment of the First Order headquarters, where eventually it's described that the environment around them begins to transform into the environment of Naboo, as well as Octu. It's described that there is a segment in the film in which the lightsaber duels are taken to another level for a specific sequence in which Kylo and Rey battle while they are in a Force bond that meshes with callbacks to other planets from the Skywalker saga of all nine movies. It's described that each time Kylo and Rey make a hard strike with their lightsabers, the environment around them begins to shift. It's said to be a short duel sequence that takes them through many worlds of the entire Skywalker saga. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this seems very crazy and something that J.J. Abrams would totally do and why I honestly really like this. Uh, this is a great way to really bring us through the ages of the Skywalker saga in a very quick way in a short period of time where we have this period in which we have both Luke, or should I say Kylo Ren and Rey, engaging in a lightsaber duel while they are both linked in a force bond sequence. Now, this also matches directly up with what we learned a couple of days ago, that J.J. Abrams is in fact bringing back the force bond that was created by Ryan Johnson and taking it up to a different level. Also, J.J. Abrams even teased a new power at Star Wars Celebration for both Rey and Kylo Ren that would really stand out from all other Star Wars films. And this really seems to really make it to the top of the list. I don't think that we have ever seen something like this before in the expanded universe or even in the current canon under Disney. So what's really interesting about this is that it's described that the environment around them begins to change and shift and transform from the First Order headquarters to, of course, Naboo, and eventually over to Octu, as well as other many worlds that take place within the Skywalker saga. So the full story here isn't complete, but it most likely is going to be a sequence in which we also get to see Kylo Ren and Rey going through Mustafar, Tatooine, other planets as well for all we know. Now, what do I make about all of this? Now, I will say that this does sound insane and just crazy, but it also screams J.J. Abrams. It really does, guys. I will say that we do know that J.J. is going to bring in an element of time travel in a very unique way that's not exactly time travel, if that makes sense. Uh, this seems more around the lines of a flashback within an actual lightsaber duel between both Kylo Ren and Rey, and it could also have a connection to what we have been going over for these past six months, give or take, of Rey and Kylo Ren seeing visions of past Star Wars characters together, while they are also, you know, pretty much together side by side and eventually engage in a lightsaber duel. So this in particular takes place within the second act of the film, and I gotta say guys, very interesting indeed. I don't think that we have ever seen something like this by JJ. Uh, does this seem like a very ambitious thing by Abrams himself? It really does, because not only does this seem very unique and original, but it could also be somewhat controversial to some fans out there. But I gotta say, I think I respect something like this. I will agree. I think that this is a lightsaber duel that really takes it to a different level. Now, we do know that there are going to be two lightsaber duels in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker at the very least. So, one of which, like this one, has to do with the Force Bond, the other of which probably is just a regular lightsaber duel, the one that we have been going over for a couple of months now. 
So with that being said, guys, what do you think about this whole entire Force Bond lightsaber duel sequence between both Rey and Kylo Ren? What do you make about this? Is this going way too far by Disney and Lucasfilm, or is this a attempt at Disney and Lucasfilm to really give us a trip down memory lane while we actually get to view a lightsaber duel between both Rey and Kylo Ren? One more thing that I do want to go over is how this could very well be J.J. Abrams' way of introducing flow walking. Now, originally Jason Solo, which was the Legends version of Ben Solo, Jason Solo was able to flow walk, basically going through time without being able to change the past or the future. So this absolutely is J.J. Abrams' version of that, except he's applying that into lightsaber duels. So what do you guys make about all of this? And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.